Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope. And this is going to be, um, will they contact you? So we're going to cover what was their feelings in the past for you? How do they feel about you? Um, what are their intentions? What are their most likely actions? What's your advice? And will they contact you? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so let me lay out the cards here, Libra. All right, so whoever Libra is thinking about, whoever's on their mind, whoever they're out of contact with, whoever this love interest is, give me an assessment, please, of based on the five positions, five questions. What kind of cards do you need to see? Of what's going on with Libra's love interest out of communication with? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to just do five cards on each. Okay. So, wow. What a card to come out. This person sees this as a divine connection. There was some kind of spark, something that happened when they met you. You are the person, Libra, that they desire, they want, that fulfilled their wishes here with the Nine of Cups energy. This person just sat down and was just, was marveling at this relationship and what I hear is the divinity of it. This person in the past felt that there was strong romance between you guys. They really enjoyed going out with you, spending time with you, and the issue they felt was they had to defend their position to other people about this seven of wands or maybe they felt that they had to defend them their position because you had other people around you okay you have to take that out as it resonates but look at the numbers of this there was a decision that was made you fulfilled their desires they wanted to take an action towards a relationship and there was a lot of over analyzing with the seven card energy so let's get more information. Let's use the gypsy card. All right, so Libra is the main person. Libra's love interest is the main person, the one they're out of contact with. Please give me an assessment of, based on the five questions, of what's going on with this connection at this time. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there was this good news. This represents visitor showing up, socializing people, going out. And some issues, some self doubt, or some infringing party around this. So it looks to me like. There was some concern about some unexpected visitor that they felt worked against the connection in the past there. Okay, so let's go further on this. Let's use, let's use Lenormand. Let's use Lenormand. Okay, give me an assessment based on my five questions of what's going on with Libra's love interest. They're the main person. Their person's the main person, the one they have communication with. Give me an assessment of what's going on with Libra's love interest based on my five questions. Show me the cards you need, the one they're out of communication with. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do two rounds of this. Another round. Okay. Now we can just move forward. They felt like you were keeping something from them when it came to people around this. And that's really what ended this situation. Okay. So how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you right now? They feel that there is a lot of regret here, Libra. They feel like they can't fix something here. They can't get over you. They do feel like they want to communicate with you with the Eight of Wands energy quickly. They do feel like they want to get some type of control around this. 
Um, this is the King of Cups. But the King of Cups, remember, is like the Emperor card energy, okay? Emperor is control, one the order, structure, and that's the first thing that I felt in my intuition. This person wants control because they deeply love you, okay? There's a feeling of deep, deep love for you and tremendous amounts of regret. This person is like a little bit defensive there. They got their wall up and they don't know how to proceed here because they, they don't know if they can cross the line with you or they have crossed the line with you and there is a defensiveness about it with the nine of wands energy coming out. It's like they just don't know how to proceed because you can see in their feelings, I don't know. Does Libra have options? I'm a little bit confused. What's gonna be the best choice for me? And if I go further on this, okay, with the Libra, with the um, Lenormand, it says that they love you. It says that they want commitment. And it says that they want to fix this, heal this. And if we go even further on this, we pull another card here for this. With the Gypsy, it says, yes, they may show up as a friend so they can get some alone time with you, but they're, in, they're definitely feeling like they want something, something long-term with you, right? We've got the marriage card around this. So they want to spend some alone time with you. And I feel like they just want to deal with these regrets. I want, they want to fix this. They feel like they want this commitment. They want something to grow here. We see the tree card can be family tree. They all, they also with the tree card, it could be saying they're concerned maybe that you're bored with them and they're gonna go around the circles here. That could be the case with the ring card as well. <clears throat> so let's go to see what their actual intentions are here with you. What are they intending to do? Okay, so we have the High Priestess card, which is like getting the blank rune. <laughs> it's like, thanks for your guides. The High Priestess. <laughs> okay, the High Priestess means secrets, listening to their intuition, getting a spiritual sign, paying attention to spiritual signs, maybe listening to their gut. Because uh, as you guys know, not everyone's spiritually inclined. So uh, a lot of times I'll get certain people in person readings and they'll be like, they'll say like, there was just something about that person. It was in my gut. I just knew it. I just knew it. Okay, so sometimes just people just follow their gut. But uh, on, okay, guys, like the, the people out there, like it's in my gut. I just knew it in my gut. Okay, that's your intuition. Okay, just know that's your intuition. <laughs> All right, we if we we tune in. I mean, we see our intuition different ways because obviously our society doesn't allow us uh, to kind of. Um, see that as an intuition but yes when you have that gut reaction when you just know something that's your intuition <laughs> okay so your person is like okay you know what I'm gonna listen to my gut I'm gonna listen to my intuition they are gonna their intentions Libra is for you to notice how sexy and attractive they are <laughs> okay alrighty and uh, yeah, and then as a result, if they realize, okay, I got, I got this power, because there we go again, the, the, that kind of emperor king energy, okay, then I can wield my power and I can persuade, because look what's going on in the cart. It's like, here's my plan. Hey, Libra, listen, here's my plan. You got the kitty cat there. Here's my plan. Libra, listen. I'm going to take charge of things. Don't worry about it. There's, there's like the sly slick energy in their intentions mm -hmm. of like a type of manipulation there. <laughs> uh, and, and they're going to give you a message you've been waiting for, okay, with the three of wands coming out. All this is like, for me, if I were to make a card deck, this would be my full card because it looks more like a full card for me. It's like someone's at the water's edge here and it's like, okay, should I go for it? Should I take this risk? Right. All right. So, yeah. So their intentions is to feel bad and have a sense of regret and then even maybe drive to your house. OK, travel to you. OK, um, move towards you. OK, so they, they're doing some kind of movement there in their intentions. And look at that. They want to take you out. So their intentions. Is, Come on, Libra. Let's go out. Let's have a good time. Let's see what happens here. OK, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm feeling so bad. Also, by the way. This is, this is like the writer card for uh, Lenormand. So it can also be insinuating because there's a lot of passionate cards there, okay? Let's go out, let's have a good time. Maybe there's some liquid courage around this and maybe we can do something passionate, you know? 
Mm -hmm. Because why do I say that? <laughs> Why do I say that? The Lily's cards coming out for Lenormand for their intentions. <laughs> That's passionate, <laughs> okay? And the Tower card can talk about big buildings and being alone, okay? Isolation, separation. Hey, let's be friendly. <laughs> okay, doll card energy. Okay, we can just be friends. That's fine. Get you alone, okay? We can do something passionate there, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm just saying, okay? They deeply love you, but they do have some um some interesting intentions okay for you libra <laughs> in the passionate department all right uh so let's see what their actual potential actions are going to be here okay so their actual actions even though they're intending they like to intend to do those things they uh want to bring a sense of happiness for you guys and they feel like it's going to be time the timing will be right then they want to speak to you they want to talk with you. So they are, their actual actions or potential uh, actions are most likely actions. The, the question is most likely actions are happiness when the timing is right and speaking to you to end this tough cycle, to take a risk, to go for it, to share their thoughts and to be hopeful, star card energy, lamp communication, to have positive change. And look at that, they may be buying you some flowers there, okay, because this is the gift card. This could be an invitation somewhere or a gift or appreciation and talking about missing longing and also traveling to you ship card energy okay now Libra, what's your advice okay when it comes to this nighttime energy or romance and don't let not letting your emotions run away with you here when it comes to this conversation because it is showing that there's going to be some type of conversation with this person um, and it could get quite emotional. But be, be careful about talking to this person at night. Mm, I wonder why. Because <laughs> um, mm. you know what it's like when you, when you uh, get emotional about somebody and you know, and uh, it's a makeup situation at night. Okay. Okay, so there's a sense of despair and getting your attention and I see that there's gonna be some changes. So they're saying, yes, you're very attractive, realize you value your worth, and don't feel in despair because it's, something is gonna change. That there's huge potential here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. Give it some time and be patient with the Seven of Pentacles energy when it comes to this loss. I see the King of Pentacles here. It's showing that you have to, you, you've had experience, you know what the best decision for you is with the long term. And um, it says, not to avoid your emotions you got to deal with your emotions okay with the eight of cups energy so let's move this out of the way and let's ask about communication here okay i'm gonna get all the normans together here i don't want that to end up in the other deck okay let's move this out of the way now and ask the question Is there huge potential for, is it most likely, now you guys asked me, because I've, I've done these readings before for the no contact, you said that three months is too long. Three months is too long. Oh, I got another Lenormand card in there. Three months is too long, so let's knock a month off and let's do it for two months, okay? Is it highly likely that Libra, Libra's love interest will contact them in the next two months? Is it highly likely that their love interest, the one they're here for, the one they're out, you know about, the one they're out of contact with, is it highly likely this person will contact them in the next two months? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh yeah, star cards coming out. Yes, Libra. It's hopeful signs. Cause why? Deep love, King of Cups energy, and this person's in heartache and sadness right now. Okay. All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you guys so much. If you guys look at this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, my beautiful dolls, I'll see you guys another day or two. I have your October reads up and available for you guys to watch. Also, I'm going to be releasing a human design video if you guys are interested in finding out about that system and talking, oh, uh, well, listening to a person who actually uh, learned it from the uh, person who originally uh, brought that system to the world. Uh, you may want to check out this video. Um, she's very knowledgeable. 
So I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.